the same mass aluminum is drawn into two wires 1 mm thick and 2 mm. Two wires are connected in series and current is passed through them. Heat produced in the wire is in that ratio. The options are 16 is to 1, 8 is to uh, 16 is to 1, 8 is to 32, 8 is to 2 and 4 is to 2. So here same mass of aluminium and these wires are the there are two aluminium wires of same mass one is having thickness 1 millimeter and one is having thickness 2 millimeter if the mass is same the mass is same we can say that volume of these two will be say v1 equal to v2 because volume is equal to mass by density if there is no change in density because both are aluminium so there is no change in density so volume will be equal v1 equal to v2 what is the equation for v1 we need to multiply length and area right length i am taking it is l1 into area is pi r1 square because we need to consider area of cross section okay here it will be l2 into pi r2 square what is the value of r1 the thickness is 1 millimeter so we can say r1 is half of the thickness right 0 0.5 millimeter what is the value of r2 r2 is 2 millimeters thickness so it will be 1 millimeter we are substituting that value okay we can cancel this pi pi and pi we can cancel that after that we can write l1 into 0 0.5 equal to l2 into 0 0.5 square into l2 into 1 square right so here from here we can write l1 by l2 equal to 1 by 0.25 so from here we can write l1 by l2 equal to 4 okay so we found the ratio we have found the ratio of l1 by l2 l1 by l2 is 4 okay now we are going to find the ratio between area ratio between area a1 by a2 a1 by a2 what is a1 it is pi r1 square right a2 is pi r2 square okay from here we can write a1 by a2 equal to pi into we can cancel the pi right by pi and pi will cancel each other r1 is 0.5 so it will be 0.5 square divided by 1 square so we can write a1 by a2 equal to 0.25 by 1 from here we can write a1 by a2 equal to 1 by 4 okay so we have found the ratio of a1 to a2 also right now we can write our equation for heat what is the what is the equation for heat there are two resistors right so h equal to i square r1 t that is the equation for heat here and here h equal to i square r2 t we are going to write equation for r1 we are going to bring a concept of resistivity bring the concept of resistivity it will be rho into l by a here we are writing l1 and a1 here r2 equal to rho into l2 by a2 resistivity will be the same because both are aluminium okay now we are substituting that value here so it will be h equal to i square r1 t right uh, instead of r1 rho into l1 rho into l1 by a1 t and r2 instead of this h we can write h equal to it will be h equal to i square into rho into l2 by a2 into t here i am writing it is h1 and it is h2 okay now we are going to find the ratio how to find the ratio h1 by h2 okay we are finding h1 by h2 instead of this is h1 and this is h2 instead of this h1 i can write i square rho into l1 a1 t all divided by i square rho into l2 a2 into t we can cancel i square and i square it is a series connection in series connection the current will be same resistivity we can cancel rho and rho time we can cancel t 
so the remaining term will be equal to l1 by a1 divided by l2 by a2 okay now h1 by h2 equal to l1 by a1 here we are taking the multiplicative inverse it will be a2 into l2 okay now here i am making a small adjustment here h1 by h2 equal to l1 by l2 into a2 by a1 okay what is l1 by l2 4 right 4 into what is a2 by a1 we have a1 by a2 we need a2 by a1 so take the reciprocal 1 by 4 reciprocal is 4 is equal to 16 so we got the ratio h1 by h2 equal to 16 we are getting 16 here okay h1 by h2 the ratio is 16 so the answer will be 16 is to 1 okay if you want to find the ratio it is 16 by 1 h1 by h2 equal to 16 by 1 so ratio is 16 is to 1 that is the answer